Hello, Anne Rand fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. In our continuing saga of Apple Forensics, Apple acquisition, uh, we need to learn some key combinations, what we call the magic keystrokes, before we can go further in setting up for a forensic acquisition. Uh, we'll talk about the four really important magic keystrokes that every forensicator must know, and I'll show them to you one at a time so you can see how to do them and why we would do them. Obviously, these are all startup combinations, so the machine would have to be off in order for these to work. And in some cases with a live acquisition, depending on the configuration, you may have to shut the machine off to do these before you can perform an acquisition. But we'll talk more about that later. The first key combination of importance to us is the uh, Alt Option key. This d combination gives us our boot options so that if we were going to boot the system with a boot disk, this is where we would need to start. We, this would show us all of our boot disks and it would give us an opportunity to select one of these. The way all of the boot key combinations work is that you would hold down the indicated key. In this case, the Alt Option key as indicated here. Press that and then press the power button. Continue holding that button down, uh, obviously removing your finger from the power button. Keep holding down the Alt Option key. You're going to see the Apple symbol. After the Apple symbol comes up, you're going to see a progress bar. Keep holding the Alt Option key down until you see that progress bar. Then you can let it go and you can let the machine boot uh, into this booting options mode. Once you do this, you're going to see all of the boot drives that are, that are available to you. Understand this is boot volumes. Even though these look like hard drives, they are boot volumes. I could have six hard drives connected to this machine, but if the volumes in them are not bootable, you're not going to see any of them. So storage volumes, not shown. Everything you see here is a bootable volume. You would select your bootable volume from this list and that would allow you to start into that bootable volume. For example, here we've got a Macquisition disk plugged in. We want to start the machine using Macquisition as our boot disk. So we would select the appropriate Macquisition volume, click on it, and the machine would boot to this volume. In the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.